Hello, in this video I just want to go in more detail about this short that I just made because you have to do it like in a minute, I guess, in order to make it a short. And no one watches hardly at all my regular videos, so I thought, well, I want to still like talk more about this. So I watched this video, which was a short on, I think her channel is There's No Place Like Home. Her name's Shelly, I think. And she does a lot of really cool videos where she like thinks about things that the Bible says and, you know, like in depth and stuff. And anyways, so she does this, Her I think her last short she just did was something about the sinister nature or something or meaning of like in the video Monsters Inc. the way they use 2319 and she talks about how like the scene where it's been years since I've seen that movie but I think she said the scene where like the monsters in the factory like freak out there's like a white sock on I don't know if it was on a kid or on something and uh, they start yelling there's, we got a 2319, we got a 2319 or something like that. And she said like in the, the movie, people probably think it's just like talking about a white sock. But like, she doesn't say this in her video, but in the comments, someone like explained because she was saying she thinks it's like basically like really like a reference to a Strong's number. I think it's the Greek one, 2319, which basically means hating God. And so, like someone in the comments said something like, well, I don't get it. Why would that be a bad thing then if they're freaking out that there's a 2319? And then the person answered them and was like, well, because like at the end of the movie, like they basically come to the conclusion that like white socks aren't bad or something like that, which is really like, I haven't seen the movie in years, but like that's what like someone said. So I'm like, wow. And that really resonated with me because I did some videos, at least one, I think more than one, like several months back talking about like the area code of Israel. If you look at the, I think it's the area code. If you look at the Strong's number that corresponds to it. I think it's the one in the Hebrew. It means like chosen one, right? And I've been like noticing in since 2022 when all this weird stuff started happening to me. One of the things I've been noticing because I look at the Strong's a lot in Blue Letter Bible Interlinear Tool and I see a lot of times this weird correlation with certain things, you know, like and I just like in our society that have like the same number and stuff and I've had this theory for a while that you know it's some kind of like occult language that they're using with numbers and that's like I don't know I just really feel that way and when she did that video that I saw today I was like wow someone's like backing me up I mean not that she was personally like backing me personally up but just like you know, this idea that something I really have been like thinking about for a while now, she's like doing a video on and I didn't know that about the Monsters Inc. thing. So it's just really like more, more evidence for what my theory that I think is going on. I think that I could be wrong, but I know at one point I looked up, I think his name is James Strong on Wikipedia and I, I felt like the guy was a Mason. I can't remember if it said he was a Mason or I just suspected, but I definitely have this theory that these strong numbers are being used in some kind of a cult in our face way, but hidden at the same time. And I feel like they're mocking God in some of their movies and stuff, maybe with some of the strong numbers, I don't know. But like the Bible talks about like be not a mocker, you know, basically in so many words and it sounds like they'll be mockers, you know, in the end of days. And one thing that I think about too with the Strong's numbers is Yeshua's parable um, about the strong man, you know, like I think if I remember correctly, I might be getting the parable messed up, but he's talking about like this person that's possessed that you know, like the demon goes out of them, you know, gets cast out of them or whatever, but then it goes through dry places and seeking some, you know, somewhere to go. And, and then it brings, like it joins up basically with like seven other demons and comes 
back into the original person or whatever and the state of that man is worse than the beginning and I wonder if it's like a prophecy about the Strong's thing like I, I really do wonder that and you know like I feel like I feel like they're doing something nefarious with these Strong's numbers and it's just something I really believe you know I don't trust that like what they say the Strong's numbers necessarily mean. I don't trust the, you know, dots and dashes, you know, that the scribes did, you know, like who was Jesus Yeshua like, you know, so angry with? It was like the scribes and the Pharisees and Sadducees, I guess, like the religious establishment, you know, so anyways, I just, I mean, I do look at the Strong's numbers all the time and I've been really suspicious of them because of, first off, that area code thing, or I don't know if it was the national code or area code, something to do with their phone number system. Totally matches. I can't remember if it's chosen one or chosen or something like that for Israel. And, you know, I'm just super suspicious what's going on with these strong numbers. Okay, so I'm a little freaked out. I was just editing this video that I'm about to put up and I decided to look at that movie Wikipedia um, on Wikipedia for Monsters Inc. And I decided to click on, I guess it was the director for Monsters Inc. This guy named Pete Docter, D-O-C-T-E-R. I noticed in it he mentions um, two things. That, well, one thing it says in here, let me find it, something about he likes animation. Okay, it says he later described his interest in animation as a way to play God, making up nearly living characters. Okay, so that's freaky. But anyways, what really freaked me out was if you look at, I keep talking about the synchronicity that keeps happening to me and... If you look at one of my last videos where I'm talking about the movie Paper Moon, about how Armstrong, Herbert Armstrong and his lawyer like set up this organization kind of separate from the college, you know, and the cult. And it somehow fun for some weird reason funded this moon this movie called or helped fund this movie called Paper Moon that had Tatum O'Neill and Ryan O'Neill in it. And the thing is, is in that video, I talk about how his cult was about a mile and a half from Jack Parsons mansion where all these orgies and all this um, satanic rituals were being done while Jack Parsons was at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, you know, coming up with this rocket formula, which he attributed to like his satanic rituals and entities and stuff. Anyways, so... As I'm reading this guy's thing on Wikipedia about the, I guess the director of the movie, it says, Doctor's fascination with character development was further influenced by a viewing of Paper Moon, he told journalist Robert K. Elder in an interview for the film that changed my life. And then I guess he says, says, I like the more character driven stuff and Paper Moon brought that home to me in a way that I had not seen in live action, really focusing on the whole story, just about characters. It was almost theatrical in the same way you might see a stage show because you're locked in a room. It's got to be about characters and yet it was so cinematic, a film that couldn't be done in any other medium. It just kind of blew my socks off, which is interesting that he mentioned socks because there's the whole white sock thing, which I'm talking about with, you know, that Strong's number 2319. So the synchronicity, like I just did a video saying the other day saying, you know, the synchronicity is starting to get to me. So <laughs> here's another example.